uh, Hollywood's biggest a-holes, a topic that never fails to entertain and astonish us. From diva-like behavior to outrageous demands, the world of showbiz is no stranger to jerkitude. Now, we all know that Hollywood can be a glamorous and dazzling place, but behind the scenes, these individuals have perfected the art of making everyone around them cringe with their outrageous antics and inflated egos. It just goes to show that fame and fortune don't always bring out the best in people. So buckle up and prepare for some jaw-dropping alleged tales from behind the scenes of Hollywood, where jerkitude reigns supreme and egos run wild. Just remember, it's all in good fun until you have to work with one of these a-holes. All right, let's dive into the world of Hollywood's biggest a-holes. And one name that always seems to come up is this guy. This action star turned reality TV cop has built quite a reputation for himself off screen. And it's not a pretty one. Known for his extravagant ego and outlandish behavior, he has been accused of everything from being difficult to work with to downright abusive towards his co-stars. Whether it's throwing tantrums on set or making inappropriate advances towards women, and there are plenty of these, he has definitely earned his spot on the list of Hollywood's most notorious a-holes. But hey, he'll give credit where it's due. Yeah, he may have some martial arts skills and an impressive ponytail, at least in the 90s, but that doesn't excuse his less than stellar behavior. So next time you find yourself watching one of his movies and thinking he's the epitome of coolness, just remember that behind that tough exterior lies a big old jerk. All right, folks, buckle up because we're about to dive into more of the world of Hollywood's biggest jerks. And boy, does Gwyneth Paltrow take the cake. This goop peddling out of touch celebrity has managed to make a name for herself as one of the most infuriatingly arrogant stars in Tinseltown. I don't know about you, but every time I see Paltrow preaching about the latest $500 wellness fad or talking down to us mere mortals, I can't help but roll my eyes so hard they might just get stuck that way. The audacity of this woman to think she's qualified to lecture the rest of us on how to live our lives is truly astounding. And let's not forget her infamous comments about how difficult it is to be a working mom. Cry me a river, Gwyneth. Most of us don't have the luxury of hiring an army of nannies and personal assistants to make our lives easier. But I guess that's just the price we pay for not being born into Hollywood royalty, huh? This is a woman who is so out of touch with reality, she probably thinks a family of four can survive on a $20 weekly grocery budget. Hard pass. Okay, we're about to spill some serious tea on one of Hollywood's biggest a-holes, Ellen DeGeneres. Now, I know a lot of you out there probably think she's this super nice, fun-loving, ex-daytime TV host, but let me tell you, the stories you've heard about her true colors are no joke. Behind that carefully curated public persona, Ellen is apparently an absolute nightmare to work with. Rumors have been swirling for years about her diva-like demands, cold demeanor, and just plain crappy treatment of her staff and guests. I mean, can you imagine being one of her poor employees and having to walk on eggshells around her all day? Yikes. And it's not just the people who work for her, either. Ellen has a reputation for being rude, condescending, and downright mean to everyday people, too. There are countless stories of her snubbing fans, rolling her eyes at interviewees, and generally acting like she's too good for the rest of us mere mortals. Not a good look, Ellen. Not a good look at all. So there you have it, folks. Despite her carefully curated image, it seems like the real Ellen DeGeneres is just another big-shot Hollywood a-hole who thinks the rules don't apply to her. But hey, at least we can take comfort in knowing that karma always has a way of catching up to people like her in the end. Just saying. Oh, and she is currently on a comedy tour called Ellen's Last Stand. How fitting. All right, all right. Let's talk about the infamous Sean Penn. Now, I don't want to jump to conclusions here, but there have been a few whispers in Hollywood about Mr. Penn being a big jerk. I mean, who would have thought? The guy who played all those intense characters on screen turned out to be a bit of a handful off screen too. Now, before we start throwing tomatoes at the guy, let's remember that celebrities are just like us. 
except with bigger paychecks and more paparazzi following them around. But hey, we're all human and we all have our moments of jerkiness. Now, I'm not one to gossip, but it seems like Sean Penn has a knack for rubbing people the wrong way. Whether it's his controversial statements or his infamous temper tantrums, there's no denying that he knows how to make headlines for all the wrong reasons. But hey, maybe being a big jerk is just part of his brand. After all, who needs likability when you've got talent? And let's not forget that he has delivered some incredible performances on the big screen. So maybe we can forgive him for being a jerk. Just a little bit. But seriously, Sean, if you're watching this, which I highly doubt, being a big jerk isn't a good look. Maybe it's time to dial down the attitude and embrace some kindness instead. Just a thought. Ah, uh, now this guy is the lovable Sandra Bullock's biggest mistake. Jesse James. There's no doubt that Jesse James is one of the biggest a-holes in Hollywood. This guy has a long history of despicable behavior that makes him stand out as one of the most unlikable celebrities around. From his multiple affairs and cheating scandals to his racist and homophobic comments, Jesse James has shown time and time again that he has no respect for others. He's treated his wives, partners, and the public with utter contempt, and his egotistical self-centered attitude is truly repulsive. What's most galling is how James has tried to paint himself as the victim in these situations, deflecting blame and refusing to take responsibility for his actions. He's a master of manipulation who will stop at nothing to protect his own fragile ego, even if it means hurting the people closest to him. At the end of the day, Jesse James is nothing more than a petulant, entitled bully who thinks the rules don't apply to him. He's a stain on the entertainment industry, and Hollywood would be better off without his toxic presence. If you ask me, this guy is the definition of an a-hole. There's no denying that Ed Norton is one of the most talented actors of his generation. From his breakout role in Primal Fear to his Oscar-nominated performances in American History X and Birdman, the man can act. But behind the scenes, Norton has developed a reputation as one of the biggest a-holes in Hollywood. Norton is notorious for being a control freak on set, constantly clashing with directors and producers over creative control. He's rewritten scripts, reshot scenes, and even gotten directors fired, all in the name of his artistic vision. This egomaniacal behavior has earned him a reputation as difficult to work with, and many in the industry avoid collaborating with him if they can help it. But Norton's diva antics don't stop there. He's also been accused of being condescending and dismissive towards co-stars, crew members, and even fans. Stories abound of Norton berating people for the smallest perceived slight or mistake. This toxic behavior has made him one of the least liked actors in Hollywood. So the next time you see Ed Norton in a film, remember, you're not just watching a talented actor. You're watching one of the biggest a-holes in the business. All right, folks, buckle up because you know we've got to talk about none other than the one and only Jennifer Lopez. Now, I know J-Lo has a huge fan base and is considered a total diva. But let me tell you, the stories about her bad behavior are downright shocking. From allegedly treating her staff like garbage to demanding insane diva requests on set, this lady has earned her spot on the a-hole list. No doubt about it. And get this. Rumor has it she even had the audacity to make her co-stars cry with her demanding attitude. Yikes. Talk about a power trip. Am I right? But hey, that's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to J-Lo's antics. The stories about her temper tantrums and ridiculous requests would make your head spin. This gal clearly thinks the world revolves around her, and she's not afraid to let everyone know it. So there you have it, folks. Jennifer Lopez, Hollywood's reigning queen of the a-holes. Don't say I didn't warn you. Sorry, Ben, but you need to hear it. All right, folks, when we're talking about Hollywood's biggest a-holes, you better believe Chevy Chase is at the top of the list. This guy has been making waves and enemies in Tinseltown for decades, and his reputation as a total jerk is well-deserved. Now, I know what you're thinking. How can the guy who played the lovable Clark Griswold in the Vacation movies be such a colossal a-hole? Well, my friends, the answer is simple. Chevy Chase is a master at keeping up appearances. Behind the scenes, he's a nightmare to work with, known for his massive ego, volatile temper, 
and complete lack of respect for his co-stars and crew. Don't believe me? Just ask anyone who's had the misfortune of crossing paths with this guy. From his well-documented feuds with Saturday Night Live cast members to his on-set meltdowns, Chevy Chase has made a name for himself as one of the most difficult and downright unpleasant people in the entertainment industry. And the worst part? He doesn't even seem to care. So, the next time you're watching one of Chevy Chase's classic comedies, remember that the guy behind the laughs is probably the biggest a-hole you'll ever come across. Just be glad you're not the one who has to deal with him on a daily basis. Ah, Toby Maguire. This guy has been coasting on his Spider-Man fame for way too long, and it's time to call him out on his diva-like behavior. Now, I know Toby's had some success in his career, but that doesn't give him a free pass to be a total jerk to everyone around him. From demanding ridiculous perks on set to throwing tantrums over the smallest things, this guy has a reputation for being one of the most difficult actors to work with. And let's not forget about his shady poker games, where he's been accused of taking advantage of his celebrity status to cheat people out of their money. Seriously, Toby, if this is true, and I don't doubt it, what kind of low life do you have to be to pull that kind of stunt? But hey, maybe I'm being too harsh. After all, the guy's probably just insecure and trying to overcompensate for his lack of true talent. Whatever the reason, it's time for Toby to get his act together and start treating people with a little more respect. Because trust me, the world is watching and we're not impressed. All right, folks, now we're about to dive into the sordid saga of one of Hollywood's biggest scumbags, Bill Cosby. This guy had the nerve to position himself as America's dad for decades, all while secretly being a wolf in sheep's clothing. Cosby used his charming public persona and immense fame to lure in and assault dozens of women over the course of his career. He'd drug his victims and then, well, we all know what happened, the definition of a despicable, cowardly act. And the worst part, he got away with it for years because of his power and influence in the industry. It just goes to show you can never really know someone, no matter how much they try to portray a wholesome, family-friendly image. Cosby was the ultimate fraud, and it's infuriating that he was able to prey on vulnerable women for so long before finally facing any real consequences. What an absolute lowlife and a complete a-hole. It just goes to show you can never really know someone, no matter how much they try to portray a wholesome, family-friendly image. Cosby was the ultimate fraud, and it's infuriating that he was